Fridges contain sweet delights. It's just a matter of getting one open. Ravi's got no idea how to be a shoplifter. Instead, he's found the most comfortable seat in the house, the ideal place to watch and learn. Getting these fridges open will require brains as well as brawn. An Indian star tortoise joins the party. Some of the Brat Pack have never seen a walking rock before. At this age, they're fascinated by anything new. The youngest ones proceed with caution. But one of Ravi's older friends wants to play. While the tortoise isn't so keen on him, he's determined to bring it out of its shell. Maybe a kiss will win it over. But the tortoise really isn't interested. This species lives a solitary lifestyle and doesn't need any friends. After a fruitful morning, the tufts relax back on their favorite crumbling wall. Pip's in the mood for playtime. But Nisha's not much fun. A half-brother, around the same age, is the perfect playmate. They're both still learning coordination and mastering their long limbs. As usual, Dad Pamu is on the lookout. The macaques are excellent swimmers. They can even dive and hold their breath. But these water lovers aren't content just to paddle. The youngsters devise a poolside game. A tree doubles as a diving platform. Months of heat and dust wash away. The drought is finally over. Life in the forest isn't only about survival. The troop's territory includes a large rock outcrop. The perfect jungle playground. Playtime is an important part of a young macaque's education. The youngsters form similar aged playgroups. Taking over the rock today are the four week old preschoolers. At this age, play is all about testing the boundaries. With whatever comes to hand. It's also a time to improve their social skills and coordination. For the teenage males of the troop, their home is more than just a place to lounge around.
These daredevils are out to have fun no matter what the risk. And the reward for all this bravado? Breakfast with a view. 100 feet below, the rest of their troop is having a far more relaxed start to their day. This is the King Troop. Play is a crucial part of a young tope macaque's development. It's how they improve coordination, test their boundaries, and hone their social skills. Ravi is perhaps a little old to be hanging out with the kids. He runs rings around this unfortunate youngster. Toke macaques have an unusually long tail. It's great for balance, but not so useful in someone else's hands. The way the juveniles interact with each other changes with age. For the younger kids, it's mostly just rough and tumble. But for Ravi and Danu, as the oldest teenage males, play is getting more serious. This is fight school. It's one of the final skills they need to master before they leave home. Swim time soon becomes playtime. For the youngsters, this is another chance to gain new skills. Toka macaques are not natural-born swimmers. They need to learn. And practice. Even Coram and his henchmen join in. A rare moment for the males to let down their guard and play. After such heavy rains, the waterhole is unlikely to dry out again before the monsoon arrives. The danger from drought is over. The teenagers have already learned this trick and instead are up to their usual rowdy games. These ancient walls and pillars are the remnants of old monks' cells. But this is no longer a place of peace and meditation. The teenagers are using it as a wrestling ring. And this time, Ravi joins in. He's back on his feet and keen to rumble. A game of tussle with Danu, his best friend, reaffirms their close bond. Ravi is back in the gang. just 400 yards from their home. The roof troop makes the most of opportunity 
at the local market. Fridges contain sweet delights. It's just a matter of getting one open. Ravi's got no idea how to be a shoplifter. Instead, he's found the most comfortable seat in the house, the ideal place to watch and learn. Getting these fridges open will require brains as well as brawn. And not everyone's up for the challenge. Some of the roof troop youngsters join Ravi. Playing and bonding with these kids is a great way for Ravi to win over the troop. With new friends showing him the ropes, Ravi's really got the hang of roof troop life. But the break-in isn't going so well. Even the most determined monkey can't quite work it out. And while some of the youngsters yearn after what could have been, the rest of the roof troop heads off in search of another way to quench their thirst.